right, guys. So today I'm rocking with the one. Um, I'm still trying to decide if I should keep the one or the NPC X. Um, I haven't used the one in a while, so I figured I'll uh, I'll mess around with it. Uh, I have a couple of minutes right now before I gotta have a late lunch and uh, get back to work. But um, yeah, I really love this thing. Um, that's why I still have both of them, even though I was. I was gonna sell one of them about a year ago. But now with the MPC3 coming out, uh, I think I'm gonna keep them for a while and try out both with MPC3 and see which one I like. Because to me, it's pretty important that, you know, on, on these older MPCs, obviously they're gonna come up with new ones, but that, that are more built for the new operating system. But I wanna keep the one that feels like it like it works the best with the new software um but yeah really liking the one man like i love that it has a tc button here um i don't like that you got to reach for the volume knob up here it would be nice if they could have fitted in over here somewhere maybe it wouldn't have looked as nice but it definitely would have been really nice to be able to just reach for it here they could have moved the q link down a little bit or up and then made space for it um another thing obviously that is a downside on the one is that uh, as far as I can remember, it only has one regular USB-C port and then one, I forgot what it's called, the square one that you usually can hook to um, audio interfaces or you know MIDI keyboards and stuff like that. Um, you obviously cannot put in, expand the hard drive inside. I have a flash card and um, it's kind of shitty. It's a little bit slow, so I'm definitely gonna have to get a better one, I think, um, because you can uh, you can stream the data from MPC3, which is amazing. So it doesn't matter that the RAM is not that huge. I think it's only two gigs or something like that in the MPC1. Uh, in the old MPC X2, for that matter, but the new one, the MPC X SC, and I think. The key 61, I think they're all, they all have, they both have four gigabytes of RAM. But the fact that you can stream it if you have a, a fast SD card, or even better if you have a, um, even better if you have a fast SSD, like probably something like this would work well. I, I don't really ha like having stuff hanging all over the place, so that's why I prefer a um, SSD card or maybe a, a USB thumb drive or something. But yeah, hard decision. Let me know in the comments which one I should keep. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'm just going to mess around with a sample I have and play around with it for a little bit. See, see how I like it. And uh, yeah, let's go. Maybe a little less, maybe a little less swing. I don't, I don't even know how it's gonna fit with the acapella, but um, let's let's do something that sounds good with the drums, and then we'll see if it fits, still fits with the acapella. Um, so one thing that I like with the MPC one that the X doesn't have is the TC button right here. I think on the X you gotta go on the, you gotta go on the touch screen. I definitely prefer this. So that's a plus for the one. Anyway, let's go down a little bit. Let's try 58 on that kick. Select it, do it. I 
got to put that in a choke group or um, let's see, program edit. Put it in a mute group. Yeah, the acapella worked all right. You know, if I if I cut it up a little bit in audio, you know, and just move. Uh, damn, where is it? This is definitely going to be easier in MPC three. Looking forward to that. I haven't done this in a while, um, but it's it's pretty easy here too. But yeah, so I got the acapella there. It's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, if I take it off grid mode and just um, cut a little bit and just move a few phrases here and there, I think this acapella could work pretty nicely with this beat. And uh, I have some other chops that would be nice to add to it also, like some saxophone or trumpet or whatever it is, horn. All right, guys, that's it for this time. Um, let me know in the comments if you have a preference between the X or the 1 and which one do you think is going to work better with MPC3? Which one would you keep if you were me? One more thing that I wanted to add that is like the biggest downside of the MPC1 is that it doesn't have a flip screen. So I do have this really good um, laptop stand that I could definitely recommend. They have it on Amazon. It's amazing, you know, it's, it's, uh, that's literally the only way I can work with this because I have a lot of neck pains. But, you know, even though I have this pretty steep, um, what do you call it, angle on it right now, I still find myself leaning over it, um, hurting my neck. And I don't do that with the X. Like with the X, I could comfortably lean back in my chair and still have a good angle on the screen. So that's, that's good. But yeah, guys, thanks again. You know, if you like the video, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks.